stays on, it means the death of millions. You've got to get this off the air. You've got to stop this. Tell them anything. Tell them it's a bomb. Just get out here and stop this. Stop it, please. There's no more time. There's no more time. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, thank you. Oh, what's up, guys? What y'all so worked up about? I was just trying to cancel my direct TV. Man, their prices are getting jacked up. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Christian Hannah Horror here with another top five of surviving the sequels. Today, we're talking about my second favorite horror movie of all time, Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. Immediately when you say that name, some people are already just going to wince. Some people are just going to say, ah, and some people are going to get excited. Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, one of the most unique horror movies I've ever seen. And today, I'm giving you five reasons why you need to watch this movie. Let's go. Reason number one, and not surprisingly, the score. Look, I love the score of this movie so much, I had to rip it off for my intro theme. John Carpenter came in with Alan Howarth and said, let's do something different. Let's make something synthesizers. Synthesizers were huge at this point. Songs like Chariots of Pumpkins, The Corridor. Man, the music in Halloween 3 is some of the most creepiest synthesizer music you've ever heard in your life. Great about the score is it uh, absolutely feels like Halloween time. I don't I don't know how John Carpenter was able to capture the season of Halloween so much in a score, but if he does it better than anything in Halloween 3, I don't know. It's pretty dang close to feeling like Halloween. Almost as close as the original Halloween score itself, but I don't know. They're kind of like really neck and neck on what feels more like Halloween. Another piece of music that I've got to mention is the uh, Silver Shamrock Jingle. It's already stuck in your head. That's the magic of the score in this movie is that little silver shamrock jingle was absolutely horrifying. And once it gets stuck in your head, there's no getting it out. Dun 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 dun. Exactly. It's some of the creepiest music. The second reason you guys need to watch this movie is the great Tom Atkins. You know, this was different. Like, horror movies didn't have middle-aged males as their lead roles in horror movies. It's just hard to get behind men as it is for women, at least in my opinion. But Tom Atkins is an everyday man. Tom Atkins almost looks like he's not acting. It just is like he is absolutely himself on screen. When you really go back and watch the performance that he did, he is so real. He's not cinematic. Go to the scene where he's at the bar and Stacey Nelkin's character comes up asking him, what happened to my dad? The way he was able to deliver the lines like, you know, your dad came in here. I don't know what was going on he's hanging on a halloween mask he's yelling they're gonna kill us all and i don't know what is going on his performance in that well it just may not it may be overlooked when you watch it it's like wow this guy is delivering this so good it's as if you really would go up to this guy in the bar and he was talking to you so kudos to tom atkins a very good actor you know he really stepped through and shined in halloween 3 in my opinion Third reason you need to watch this movie is the late, great Dan O'Hurley. He is one of the scariest guys in the Halloween franchise altogether. You know, if you're not worried about Michael Myers, you need to worry about the great Connell Cochran. Man, he is able to be larger than life in this movie. He's able to be mys mystique, scary, but very intelligent. Like, every time Dan is on screen, he absolutely commands the scene. It is all about him. He's able to be evil under the surface, but you know that that is what he's trying to do. It's an actor's trait that not a lot of people can pull off, but Dan had it. It's so interesting to know that in real life he was a nice, sweethearted guy, but he's able to go on screen and become this menacing, evil. Things he wants to do in this movie are hideous. He wants to kill kids, point blank, period. He wants to take Halloween back to its sacrificial roots and sacrifice children like they used to do back in the day. Dan O'Hurley, he does what Michael Myers can't do. He goes after the kids. Fourth reason you need to watch this movie is because it is the black sheep of the Halloween franchise. You know, 10 years ago when I started getting into groups on Facebook and looking at videos on YouTube, now there were some that were against the grain, but the majority of the Halloween fans that I saw all said the same thing. Halloween 3 is not a Halloween movie. It doesn't have Michael Myers in it. Well, you know what? It is a Halloween movie. You know why? Because John Carpenter, Deborah Hill, Mustafa Akkad said so. You know, it's Halloween 3. And I think because enough time has gone by now, it has aged great. 
gracefully. It is becoming more of a cult classic. People have kind of turned around to it and said, you know what? Let's pop this in and watch it for what it is. Let's see what this movie really is all about. And people are really starting to come around and love this movie. And I think that's great. What's really great about Halloween 3 is I don't know that I've ever seen a movie quite like it. It really is a just strange movie. Here's the plot synopsis to put it in perspective. Irish Halloween mask maker wants to have kids all put on their masks on Halloween night. Let this commercial play that will trigger the Stonehenge pieces in their masks to turn their heads into snakes and bugs. I don't know that I've ever seen a movie like that. Credit to Tommy Lee Wallace. She's still got great cinematography by Dean Cundy. You've got stunning performances by Stacey Nelkin and Tom Atkins. Tom Atkins shines in this movie and he is so lovable. I got my Tom Atkins outfit on today too. So yeah, it's the black sheep of the franchise, but it's becoming more and more welcomed by Halloween fans and I think that's great. If you're just a casual horror movie fan and you're getting into these franchises and you're like, what is this movie about? Watch it for its own merit. Don't worry that it's not a Michael Myers film. This movie belongs in the Halloween franchise in my opinion and it's going nowhere. Nowhere, Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. The fifth reason why you need to watch this movie, kind of surprisingly, but not really, are the kills. Now, the kills are few and far between in this movie, but that's okay, because every time you see action, it means business. One of the nastiest things you see is once you get into the town of Santa Mira, it's very locked down, and one of these bums is going against the grain out in the street, cussing out Connell Cochran, and the suits come up to him, literally put their hands on his head, and yank it right off. That was horrifying the first time I watched it. But one of the most disturbing scenes in the entire Halloween franchise if not the most disturbing scene is when little buddy puts on his mask in the test room and that mask starts melting and all those bugs and spiders and creatures start coming out of his head it is still cringy to watch. I mean, it really is just hard to watch. I don't know how these guys came up with this stuff in a script. It never fails to gag somebody out when I have them come watch this movie with me. It's always a great scene. And you got to give them credit. They really made a lot of tension happen in that scene. It was just hard to watch. So there's five reasons why you guys need to watch Halloween 3. But I need you guys to have an open mind if you haven't seen this movie. It is great. It is creepy. You know, Halloween 3 is my second favorite horror movie of all time like I said earlier but I can't exactly put it into words completely a lot of the reasons that I told you obviously but it's just got a feeling it feels so much like the season of Halloween and I love that it's got great cinematography it's got great music it's got a great performance from Tom Atkins you, you get behind his character so well and I love that yeah Halloween 3 it's not going anywhere it's here to stay that's Halloween 3 season of the witch so there it is guys until next time please be sure to subscribe to Christian R if you like these kinds of videos also drop a comment below let me know which sequel you would like to see me do a top five for and until next time we'll see you guys later